You know, I never used to mind the smell of stale beer, but it's knocking me sick this morning. Well, you, you can't be... Oh, pregnant. Don't be daft. Honestly, Violet. Give her a marching orders, Liz. Oh, no. Last in, first out, I'm afraid. Oh, well. That depends on the new owners, doesn't it? Mm. What did you have in mind? Lap dancing joint? Well, that would rule you out. I'm walking. I was thinking more dirty Nellies or Gertie McShirties or whatever the latest theme is. Well, you'll be all right then, won't you, Sister Connor from Kerry? Er, uh, Kildare, actually. Oh, and me. I'm married to an Ulsterman. Looks like I'm walking anyway. Oh, they might not want rid of anyone anyway. Might be really nice, eh, Liz? Mm. They might. I won't be a minute. What are you like? Oh, well, that'll rule you out then, Liz. Are you saying our glorious leader dresses like a lap dancer? Seriously, you want to watch it, you, because if she catches you out, she'll turn on you like that. I mean, she's twitchy enough. Oh, I'm only having a laugh. Anyway, I'll be out in the air when Bev gets back, so I might as well enjoy what's left of me time. It'll be a shame, that. I've all the bars, you know, the world. Actually, that's my line. Is it? Well, black and white movies, I've never done them. Now, why doesn't that surprise me? Ever since I was a kid, it impressed me. It's a wonderful life. Never seen it. Never lived. Well, I've never had anyone to watch them with. Michelle, somebody's broken the bottle outside. Can you clear it up before we end up getting the blame? Right, um, Stella, top step. Right. Couldn't you do it? She needs the exercise. How to win friends and influence people. Steve, I'm not here to make friends. I'm the gaffer. Though for how much longer, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. I've had my smidgen of sympathy. That's it, is it? Now it's pull your socks up time. There you go again, thinking like a barmaid. Think like a manager. Tell Fred you want to buy the place yourself. Just like that? Get a mortgage. Oh, just like that? If it was a life or death situation and me and Andy needed the money, you'd find it. And you know you would. So find it for yourself. Talk about life in the fast lane. You missed a bit. <laughs> Whoever told you you were funny? I think you'll find it was you, actually. Yeah, well, your Basil Brush impression doesn't count. Well, if it isn't the big, bad, boring breadhead. Don't tell me. A present from your staff already. No, no, you're doing employee of the week. Would it surprise you to know that I'm off their Christmas card list? Oh. Six hours and fifty-five minutes. That's impressive. Even in your book. Uh, I sent one on machine is home. Inappropriate dress code in the workplace. She wasn't wearing a bikini. I've decided me and Danny should play good cop, bad cop. Oh, so it was a professional thing last night when you were talking to his wife. You were asking her advice? Correction, ex-wife. Well, it doesn't matter either way because it's this Danny fella that you're in bed with, not his missus. Couldn't have put it better myself. Here she is now, employee of the week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Much more appropriate. We've got helper if the fire alarm goes off in them shoes. Yeah, she's fried. Oh, talking of getting burnt. Nice segue. I'm guessing that these are your swan song, hmm? Thanks for the memories. Farewell, Frankie, that kind of thing. He's not daft, are you, Liam? Well, I'm glad somebody's got a bit of faith in there. Anyway, I've got a factory to run, so do one. And you. Don't let me stop you. 